this video may be a little long. Well, it is a little long, even by my standards, and boring to some of you people. But I was uh, reuniting with a friend of mine named Paul of Drone Vistas. He's got his own channel called Drone Vistas, and I'll try to as a link below. I think for it. And we hadn't spoken in a few years, and we used to shoot together, and although we disagree on some things, we agree on a lot of things, and the things we disagree on, we just don't talk about. So I hope you enjoy this video, even if it is long. I've played with a few things, hoping I can make things better for everybody, so y'all enjoy it if you can. It is. I can't, I can't stand it down here. This ain't bad this morning, though. No, uh, yeah, the humidity is terribly bad right now. Usually, usually it's rough yeah. this time of day. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the same thing I'm telling Jamie. Although you, you'll get out and go more than he does, he does. But you're welcome to come down here and fly anytime you want to. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything except let me know you're back here, so I don't, so I don't do anything to fuck you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just yeah. anytime you want to call in and fly, whether I'm I'm coming with you or not, you you're welcome to well, come back here and fly because it's a damn comfortable place. Yeah, the is. scenery looks pretty good once you get up in the air, little ways. Yeah. And and the neighbors, that boy right there, he told me he said I don't care. He said he, if he gets out there naked on his damn deck, it <laughs> just it just he ain't too ashamed. He wouldn't mind at all. And the house next to him, they're new. I ain't uh -huh. spoke to him yet, but I don't care because I can fly anywhere I want to if I want to. Yeah, and, that, yeah. and that front house down there, that's his mama, and she won't say nothing. Okay. And, and across the street, I don't, I don't really go out past my house, but I, you know, I can, I, I guess. And I, I don't know how the rules say. Actually, the rules are kind of ambiguous, but. Yeah, the FAA are. just about let you fly anywhere you want to, as long as you ain't doing peeping time shit. Yeah, yeah. That's and what and think and they, the person who owns the property really doesn't own the airspace above that property enough that he can fuck with you. That's right. Now they might try to shoot your drone down, but that's. that's that'll be that'll be on him when, when I get through with him. Yeah, yeah. And law. He's dead meat. Well, let's see if I can take this off. And, and you do know the world's airports up here, so just be aware. I don't think you'll have any airplane problem. But they told me when I went to register just to be aware and, and don't hit an airplane. I said, well, if an airplane gets down low enough to hit me, this was before I was up and out that far. Yeah. I think just stable as a damn rock. And that's the altitude hold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I actually got GPS here. So yeah, you should be able to get 16, 18 damn satellites over here. I'm trying to get used to doing it by pinching these things over using my damn thumb. Yeah, pinching, pinching is better, better. Yeah. The, but the controls are so small. You ain't got some, such real little hands. Yeah. I, when I started my airplane, the, the controls were so much bigger. Right. You could pinch and do pretty good, but I keep wanting to use my thumbs, and this thumb right here is just gives me a fit sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It, it wants to twitch. Now you're getting up where I can't see because I, I can't that. tip my head yeah, like that far. Well, moving move over your way, you, you get it out there where you can see. Yeah. And Jamie ain't gonna, Jamie ain't gonna be anyway. Jamie's somewhere else, just hovering. And I don't know. You look at your screen, no, but you ain't as far. You ain't as far over there as you think you are. Yeah, I just, I just not remember to record. That's why I didn't do it the other day. You said, so "Why don't you put some on, you know, some drone coverage with you when you did that video?" Because I did like I did here. I forgot to hit the uh, record button. I get bad about that. Are you recording? I, I just now hit the button. Yeah. 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 So, you, Jamie. But, um, right, yeah, oh, right there. there. You, <laughs> you lose his little shit right there somewhere if you ain't careful. I want to go. You know where we go shooting over the farm? Yeah. I want to go over there sometime where I get more confident. And I'm 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 about there with one drone. If you've got time before we leave, I want to show you something. Okay. Yeah. And. uh scared to death of it, but I ought not be because it'll fly itself about better than anything I've got. But but you you're as good if not better pilot now than I am. 
I'm just, I'll take more damn. Well, I don't know. You take pretty much risk. You, you a risk taker yeah. too, because so. yeah, you had me nervous as hell when you was on your on your walk around porch and you said, I better walk around this thing. And I'm going, son of a bitch. He's, re I know how that porch is, <laughs> and he's right there on that thing. You do realize that if something malfunctions, that thing will rip your neck open. Yeah, well, and, and it did. I, I said, I'm glad I didn't. Uh, so I, I told James that. Said, now I gotta admit, I didn't post my first version of this. And my first one, I was out there, and uh, um, my damn trash service, they changed the day they do it. And I couldn't figure out why they weren't, they drove right by my trash truck. Said, what the heck? So I picked, so I put it in reverse so I could land it real quick. Yeah. And I hit it too hard, it came back and actually sliced up my rib. Well, I, I cranked mine up on the dining room table, and I didn't mean to lift it. And it just lifted enough that the ground effect got it. Yeah. And it, some of it's come back and ripped my nipple and, and cut that finger right there when I'm trying to push it out of the way. Yeah. And that wasn't any fun at all. No, those, those, I mean, these things are like really bad about that. So. That That is a very, very, very stable. That's DJI. They, it all be. Yeah, like you said. It, you I got to pay for it, but it, it's, I yeah. think sometimes it wasn't. I would love to have gotten a Phantom Pro. Oh, yeah, yeah, those are nice. You, know, like, do you, you don't know Ralph Newcomb, do you? No. He's a commercial drone pilot, and uh, I call him Mr. DJI of, of uh, Rockingham County, but uh, and he's got like four of those things in his, you know, his well, of course he's... Phantom Pros or Phantom? Yeah, yeah, both. And he's got one of them that has like the infrared stuff on, but then he, you know, he goes and uh, does things for uh, businesses where he goes out and checks the roofs for like leaks and stuff, you know? I watched a video yesterday, this guy was testing a parachute on a Phantom Pro. <laughs> and he had a lot of nerve. Now he, he tried to, he tested that thing by itself, uh -huh. but then he put that thing on that $2,000 Phantom Pro and took it up and he, I think he's sitting about 300 feet. And he took, his little daughter took up a, a drone where she could watch it. And then he took up another drone and just let it sit there filming it. And it was sitting there by itself the whole time. It was just sitting there. I think it was a hotel or something other. And he uh, he wrecked that phantom up there. He just, he just killed the switches. And that thing fell, fell, fell. I'm going, Jesus Christ. It was making me nervous. And it wasn't even my drone. The, the chute did open. But it looked like it opened at about 10 or 20 feet off the ground. And that was too late, in my opinion. It saved it. He was flying in a field of grass. The grass was this high, cushiony and everything. It would have probably been all right anyhow. But that made me a nervous wreck. He lost. He lost a little pop off top and the chute is packed in some kind of little gray holder and he lost that and that thing's a 250, 300 bucks I believe. Yeah, and they, he said it looked like they would... Uh, you want to get out of the sun and move down there. I, was trying to, I can't even find my drone right now. He, he said it looked like they'd add an extra one or two of them in there. They need to paint, I'd have painted that top case. Yeah. Can you see it? No, I can't even see it. I lost it in the sun. Yeah, that's right now. I'm like time of day. Oh, I'm right here. I don't know what I thought it was. Oh, okay. I'll see you now. It, 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 don't get, it don't get shady in your eyes till about 10 this time of year. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the ground anyway. You can go way down there. Down that way, you mean? Yeah. You can go down there until you lift either one. You won't, as long as you don't go past that hedgerow. I, I mean, ain't nothing they do except raise a little hell if you ended up over there. I was going to show you what it is. Put the thing in sport mode. This thing, the pause in sport mode. Oh, yeah. I don't follow that. Yeah, mine, mine ain't quite that quick. Watch that damn walnut yeah. tree. Mine ain't quite that quick. I, most of my flying has been in... Uh, Slow mode, uh, yeah. bill rate one or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Because I just, that thing will get away with my old hands. Well, this, this does me too. That's why you know, I, I, did a, I did a like every now and then just because the, you know, the thrill, the speed there. But uh, I, I like it. That thing is real stable. I, I've been trying to talk Jamie into getting him one of them unique Manus Q's. Yeah. And yeah. I, I don't know why he won't get it. I ain't got a clue. He says he's gonna, he keeps got it. He got it down to where the $150 off. And he wouldn't get it. He said, well, why did they give it to me? I said, you dumbass. <laughs> oh, I hope you don't mind. I probably am recording. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll edit out anything I think you say that's, that's dumb or, or something you don't, I wouldn't think you'd want. But I, I cuss. Know. 
you, you know, my, my, I just cuss. And my, my channel has got the warnings and everything on it, but I realize that everybody wants to cuss, they do cuss. I mean, don't make no devil's talk. So if you pull back on it, that means it's going to go backwards. I got the drum pointed that way, so you're... Yeah, you need to turn it 90 degrees to your right, Jamie, you'll yeah. be right. Do you want it to be... Yeah, he wants it to be facing away from him. Show us shit. There you go. Now you got it. There you go. Now you, now you, look, 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 go back the other way. Now you're okay. Now you're okay. Now you're oriented right. So now it's facing away from you. Yeah, he, he, he can't stand that thing if it ain't facing away from him. From him. No driving... Son of a gun. But it ain't. So this, if you go to your right or left with this joystick, that yeah. makes it go right or left. Front, you push it forward, that's going forward. If you pull it back, it goes backwards. Yeah, but you're in headless mode. Yeah. Turn it around and take it out of headless mode for him so he don't... Uh, it, oh, actually, I don't care if you take it out of headless mode. Because I see them green lights on, probably be on the back, ain't they? Uh, yeah. What do I do? Oh, okay, we're still not pointing around, so. Uh, now you go. Now you are. Now you are. Now you are. Now you are. Are you sure? Well, I'm pretty sure. He ain't gonna wreck it if he did, it wouldn't have hit that more than two miles of, 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 of a century. That's right. That is a problem. It's hard to tell on that. It's so small, which direction is pointed? Mine's got a flat nighttime mode on it that will light up like crazy. I mean, it really lights up good at night, but I ain't been down here real dark to see how it goes. Yeah. Mine will do all, all the stuff this one will do just about. It's got to suckle me, or point of interest, whatever you call it, yeah, and, yeah. and follow me, but I can't walk good enough. I don't need it, it me trying to do to follow me crap. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's got any waypoints. I think it does, but... I'm confined enough here. I don't want to do waypoints. I, I don't like yeah. it. I don't like it to get out of my sight. I, I know you legally you're not supposed to let it, right. but it's it's going to you're going to lose it sooner or later yeah. in your sight if you don't. If, I mean, if you fly it at all, like, you're going to lose sight of it. Yeah. And and the way I got it figured, you can't watch it all the time. A real pilot flying an airplane, he does not look out the window all the time. He's got to check his instruments every now and then. Better going dead, it looks like. Leave it alone, let it land. It sounded like Michael, I didn't understand. <laughs> looks like it got red lights flashing, probably a little better. Yeah, it sounded about. What, what is a better life? Uh, if, 16 minutes on this. It, have you timed it? You got to have it set so like when it gets down to 30%. To let me know so that way, in case I'm too far out, I can get it back in. So. I don't know what's better than all mine. They're climbing oh, up. Perfect. No, not yet. See if I can land it. Uh, I don't know if I can, I, I can function well enough yet. After, that's the reason I didn't bring mine with me. I fell down yesterday morning. Oh, wow. And I am sore. I fell down between the bed and the nightstand. I, I was trying not to fall. Uh -huh. And I finally said, well, hey, there's pillows under me. I'm just going to land. I mean, I'm just going to fall. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't very comfortable. And if Sarah hadn't been there, I'd probably still be waiting on her. And I hope your eyesight's better than Jamie's, because now you're over it. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a good depth perception. Well, Jamie's going to land a foot or two this side of his. It don't matter what I do, no matter what I tell him, he's going to be a foot or two this side of it. <laughs> and he won't believe me when I say you're too far this side. Did y'all see the video I put up yesterday? Me? Yeah. I, that, yeah I had more fun doing that. I had to wait. Uh, she was mad as a hornet at me. Well, you say you thought maybe she was down there cussing at you. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I got, I think I got that, Jamie, if my camera's at it, it hit it right. He just done a roll. And uh, all that Star Trek stuff was, I just, that was the last minute I thought about doing that. Uh-huh. That's my nice little video. And she didn't get me too mad. She started out, she was going to say something. I said, just watch, <laughs> just watch the rest of it and don't give me no hard time. Now, these, these pills I take, I'm, I'm sound sensitive, light sensitive, oh, and it, I, hell, I can't half see 
just looking when I ain't looking in the sun as bright as it is right now. Stargazing stuff, you know. Oh, yeah, look at that! I'm like, I can't see that. Yeah, oh yeah. So, but I've, I've watched, I think I've watched damn near all of your videos now on on your stargazing and stuff. They're not very long. It don't take long. I don't mind watching videos. I ain't got nothing else to do. Well, the, what, I, those are just my outtakes. I didn't. Yeah. My regular ones, I had, I don't have on my channel. I should put those out for you to look at because those are like three and four. But I, I love, I love the way you do the the. Oh, well, thank um, you. What do you call it? Time lapse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, those are fun to do. Like I said, those out there were just some outtake deals, but take deals, but uh, some I've done two of them that are like, you know. If cool if somebody stuff. subscribes to my channel, uh -huh. I will subscribe to theirs. I'm yeah, not yeah. I'm not gonna guarantee you I'm gonna watch all of their videos because some of their videos bore the shit out of me, yeah. and I'm sure that some of mine bore other people too, and that's fine. But if they give me a sub, I will give them a sub. And if they're interested, I'm really interested, I'll, I'll try to get other people to sub to them. Right. Jamie? Powell's gone. I wish you would. <laughs> you didn't dump at that time. <laughs> I thought you I thought you had decided to just dump it. Oh, and sat it up here on the other night when she was going, where's the kill switch? I wasn't about to tell her how to kill that damn thing at about 75 <laughs> feet in the air. I hope she don't ever figure it out. First thing I learned. Yeah, that's, that's just a hell of a way to. Well, that thing don't weigh nothing. If you looked at his, yeah, that thing don't weigh nothing. I dropped mine out of that tree way up yonder. Oh my gosh! And uh, I, I probably it's probably thirty feet up there, and it yeah. fell at my first one, and it fell and landed flat on its back. Didn't hurt it at all. Yeah. But I was glad to get in that tree till Randy cleaned it out, and I, then I got in it one more time after he cleaned it out. <laughs> I said I got to quit that shit because it scared me because you can't see here. If you had your antenna to return to home, that thing goes up there. That's high. When it comes back, it, it looks like it's over this tree, but it's not. Well, I tell mine to return, but it's not playing on the fence. That's all mine does now. I just pay attention. Hey, little spocky. I don't know why, but I thought yours was going to be bigger than mine, Paul. Oh, no, this is a mini drive. No, that's a little big size. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice compact size. He can throw it in his darn pocket and keep it in the car as long as he's got a couple of batteries charged. Yeah. He he can take that thing and just be anywhere he wants to and set it up and be up there in just two, three minutes at most. Yeah, I, I like it. I want a fold up drone. Well, I, I got one, but it's it's huge. Well, this one will fool you. It looks like it's a fold up. It's that Mavic. Oh, it's not a fold up, is it? This one doesn't fold up. Well, I want a fold up. Yeah. The Mavic. Uh, yeah. the, the Mavic is and that uh, 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 Mantis is nothing but a Mavic clone. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a headless mode on those? What, what do you guys mean by headless mode? In other words, it's... Whichever way you go, it's, it's going... If you push the stick forward, even if it slides that way, it'll go that way. Oh, I, I can... I'd have to go in... Mine, you have to go in and actually change the settings to do it. So, but, yeah. It doesn't have a mode yeah. that uh, I just got a button there that said headless. You understand what I'm talking about now? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. head, the head is always pointed away from you. The tail, I don't matter which way the drone's oriented. Okay. The tail is always towards you, and the head is always away from you. Everything else is is left and right. You, but your left or right may be actually your head. Yeah. But well, it. This one doesn't do that. This one, you can configure the joystick for. Well, see, that's a, that's a that's a bad way to get in the habit of flying anyhow. Mine's got it, and I don't I don't use it. I got it locked in that damn mode one time, and I didn't realize what I'd done. And it like, confused the crap out of me. Because every time I try to do something, it would just go, 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 or come back. You know, I said, something ain't right on this. Yeah. Well, when I put it in a headless load, load, mine slows down and it it's not as responsive. That's pretty oh, no, and, and he never gets out of dual rate one or whatever, low rate or whatever it is. He never gets out of that on purpose. better you got? Just two right now. Those are the second one. That, they're kind of expensive. Yeah, they're like 50 bucks a battery. Well, that ain't bad as I thought. My, my little battery, my, my drone ain't ain't nothing. And uh, the gimbal on it sticks uh -huh. in the side-to-side in the -side motion. So I ain't up and down same way, but it sticks on the side-to-side. -side, and I've emailed uh, JJRC and I ain't heard nothing out of them. I sprayed it. 
I said, the hell with it. I sprayed it with contact claim last night because it's brushless motors controlling the gimbal. Yeah, yeah. I sprayed that side to side gimbal, and I don't know. It looks like it might have done something, but I can't tell yet till I fly it. Yeah. But I got it and three batteries for less than 200 bucks. Wow. And and that little thing Sal was flying is a is the same brand JJRC, but it's called an X7, and it's got legs on it, but they low into the ground. And hers actually is better for landing and crap than mine is because mine will tip over with my twitchy thumb. Uh -huh. And she can just squat that thing and it just lands just perfectly placed. And I got it and three batteries. It does not have a gimbal, but the, but the camera, you can rotate it 90 degrees down and back up right. and back up. Right. And it, it takes pretty good videos, but she ain't took no video to mount to anything. But that thing with three batteries was even less than... Uh, mine was at two hundred dollars. It was a hundred eighty some dollars, I believe. But it's uh, both of ours are two S batteries, and yours are probably three S, right? We got uh, they three cell batteries in that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, mine are just uh, seven volts. Yours is eleven, twelve, whatever it is. Yeah, I wouldn't. Don't worry about going that way. You can go that way as far as you want to, as long as you can see the little son of a bitch. That thing, you, you could lose it pretty good. Oh, yeah. Well, that's bad enough, but that one, I... You get it over around in trees, and I can't see it on Oh, I like that spinning up. That was in the uh, sport mode. And, and I don't think the lures can keep up with the vertical climb, but it starts rotating like that. Because this is out of the... I'm not. I would like to know I got the speed on tap if I wanted it. Uh -huh. But I really don't want to fly on that fast as slow as my reflexes either. are anymore. Uh -huh. You use it to buy. Say, do you ever watch other people's videos? I mean, the, the yeah. guys that really do it. Oh, yeah. Captain Drone. Yes. Yeah, you yeah. ever watch him? Yeah, all right, how about JD drone? Yep. Yeah, okay. I, both of those, I lost it now. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Both of those dudes are, are fantastic, and they will answer questions, and they don't mind. Do, do you know how to find on their home page their email address? Uh, I don't think I've ever looked. All right, if you go to somebody's home page, and they've got it right, uh -huh. there's a little thing down there somewhere on one of the pages, maybe about or something. And it's and it's down there's an email address it's hid. It's it's hidden by one of them caption things, you know, you gotta tell that you ain't a robot. Right. And then the email address will pop up. And if if they've got that feature there, they don't mind you email them. Huh. Now, I can try to remember those those guys try fly uh, DJI, don't they? No, they fly anything. Oh, they, they? both of those two guys are the reason I bought uh my JJRC stuff. Because they do product reviews, right? Huh? They do product reviews? Yeah, on, on all kinds of drones, and, and yeah. Captain Drone has gotten to where he, he don't fish, but he got a boat. He They sent him a boat. He told me, he said, don't send me no boat. I ain't no fisherman. <laughs> but they sent him a boat to, to use for fishing, a little RC boat. So he got out of his comfort zone and, and took the damn boat. He, he didn't have no fishing stuff on it, but he showed you how it would do. It had two trays in the back, one of them yeah. where you would dump chum, and the other one where you would dump, and it would take your, your hook and cork and all that stuff, whatever you're doing, and dump it in the water, and then you could do whatever you want to with a boat. And then the last couple of videos I've seen, he was racing RC cars, and he ain't in his comfort zone on that either, but he's he's doing it. I like him. He's, he's, he's very well yeah. versed in how to do a, a video, and he'll, he'll do them all. He'll do the cheapest thing up to... Uh, uh, the high dollar stuff. Right. Is that quite a bit different flying than yours? Oh, yeah. Whoop it, Jamie, whoop it! I hope <laughs> I'm, I, I hope I'm getting it on video. I can't tell, I ain't got my phone out where I can see it, because I can't see nothing down here this time of day. That sun is making my right eye just water. I, I should have got yeah. my sunglasses and I forgot them. I may have a minute. I'm 
I know where to go this thing. Yeah, but that, that's how you learn, Jamie. I mean, you get something that's just a little bit over your head, and then you catch up with it. Yeah. That's the way I always. That's the way I always shot pool. I tried to shoot pool most of the time. I shoot pool with people that could shoot just a little better than I could, and that way I, I knew when I caught them, then I could I could move on up a little bit more. That way, when I got off of work at the store where they had pool room, I could go back there and take all them little farmers' kids. Tobacco money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's because you won't try to push yourself. <laughs> that long street in there. <laughs> Mine's supposed to fly for 20, fly for 25 minutes or more, but I don't believe it will. I don't believe it will. Now, is, don't they have, isn't it ready for like 30 minutes? Huh? I think it's ready for 30 minutes. It's Yours or mine? Yours. I don't know. I, if you took the camera off of it and behaved yourself, it, it might fly that long. But I think about 18 to 20 minutes with the camera going like I do and other stuff. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't. And, and may, it may take some of the juice out of the battery flying GPS because I almost always use a GPS. Yeah. Well, you know, that, that's, there's, there's like a big threads on these DJI's part where people have been losing them, flyaways. But it's always because they don't know how to fly them without the GPS. Yeah. You know, they're like, oh, so, oh what, what are we doing? And they're like, all of a sudden it just goes off, you know. I'm like, that's why I, half the time I'll fly and... and uh, well, I may, may, I may need to start doing that. Just because if they never brought fire loss... Well, don't it... It, it still has... It'll, it, when, it, when it loses the GPS on this one, it will maintain altitude. But if the wind's out there, the wind will just push it, you know. Yeah, but that's all the difference, ain't it? I mean, really, it, it'll, you can hit the return to home and it'll come back right now, right? Well, it's it said something else. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's see, what screw is it at? Oh, uh. Still got a little bit left. I think it was just getting complaints that it was, uh. There you go. Wanna, wanna land it? Nah. I don't know how. When I was flying my Archon, it, it don't, the camera don't tilt down or nothing. Uh -huh. And that's what was messing me up. When I got the uh, X6, I could, when that thing come over back over here and I lose it in the tree, I turn the camera down and I go, that thing ain't over the tree. It's just out of my sight right there. Yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's out over the field, but it don't look like it. You know, and these things are like, you know, you're Jamie, you can land that thing better than you can land yours. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I guarantee you, you can. Yeah, don't, don't show them how to hit, hit the damn kill switch. No, no, it doesn't have a kill switch. Uh, yeah, it does. If you go all the way down on the throttle, does that kill it? No, it just lands. It just lands. And when it lands, then you probably can go all the way down on the throttle and shut yeah, the engine off. It, but it, won't, it won't let it do the kill until you actually... Until actually and, and you're going to miss that damn pad right there, too. You're still too far back this way, you hard-headed old motherfucker. <laughs> you're too far back this way. Go a little bit more over it. Go front ones a little bit. Front ones. He don't believe me. He's going to land it right there and he's going to miss that whole pad of foot. Go on forward, go on forward, go on forward, go on. I'll tell you when to quit. Go forward. Forward the, uh, He knows what I'm doing. He don't believe me. And that little woman will talk to you, but she ain't going to tell you you ain't over that pad. Say, I told you. <laughs> he won't listen at all. You landed it. <laughs> yeah, but he, he won't listen. If he'd have just moved that thing a foot and a half, he'd have been perfect. <laughs> My damn right eye yeah. is... Let me see if I got some sunglasses in the truck. Well, I landed it where I land mine. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, How, how's Wendy doing with a jetpack commander, Jamie? I think it's been too hot for her to fly. Well, I found mine in the house. Hey, anybody can fly anything in the house if you do it right. Jamie's a, Jamie's a pretty good cool little drone. It, it just, it's worth us because I ain't got no cameras, in my opinion. But and and when you when you see him put the battery in there, take it away from him and plug the battery in all the way. Because it won't plug the battery in all the way. That helped a little bit, but that ain't. It ain't gonna call, solve my problem this morning. Mm. 
what what are you using for for phone for view screen? <laughs> just this right here. It's yeah, a, I, I found a, no, it's a, just a uh, Android. Uh, it's actually a cheap old. Uh, I used to have like a Samsung. Yeah. But I thought you know I don't need anything fancy. Let me see it and I'll tell you what the problem is with, with me on that. Well, this ain't too bad. I've got one. Somebody give me, it, but this button right here, and that makes the damn phone have to be stuck out here to the side too far. Yeah. And it don't want to stay in the cradle too good. Yeah. And Banggood has got blue coos of little cheap iPhones, padlet, tablets, and everything. And but all the I'm not iPhones, but uh, Androids. Yeah. And all of them uh, have got that damn third button on that side, and and I don't want to buy one. I mean, you get one for sixty nine and eighty nine dollars unlocked. And if all you're gonna do is use it for the five G Wi Fi, because yeah. mine has to have five G. Is yours have to have five G? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that little case. Yeah, that's not too bad. They, they send you another case, but it's like you still can't put everything in. So like, well, what's the deal? Why? Why wouldn't they put? I don't know why they wouldn't give you one. You could put your darn transmitter in too. Yeah. Does a stick unscrew and stick in the back on that one, or is that something else? I think. Yeah, uh, something else. Yeah, I just. I just got tired of trying on mine and just leave it open in the back of the car. That's what I usually do. Especially I go like to, uh, I don't know, I, I go out to Ferris Park and fly. What? At? Ferris Park out in the uh, near Stone, uh, Madison, Mayadan area. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and I'm not sure you're supposed to, but I went, I went and looked on their webpage. It says all sorts of stuff can't be a sexual predator, can't be drinking alcohol, it can't be, you know, all this other stuff. Doesn't sound about drones. drones. Yeah. I looked at all the little placards, you know, all the signs on there. And that's dogs on leashes, all that stuff, and nothing about drones. I, I'm surprised that your, your drone didn't tell you that you were too close to Wall's Airport. It does. It, oh. it goes, there's your real Robinson. You know, Can you, you override know? that? Yeah, yeah. So, so, you sure you want to fly? Well, I tried. That's stupid to fly. I tried. I mean, I tried everything, and I could not find anybody up there to give me clearance, you know. Yeah. So I contacted the FAA, the FAA told me, he said, well, just act like it ain't there because there ain't nobody there. Yeah. And uh, just be sure that if you see a airplane, get out of the way. Yield yeah. to the airplane. And I told him, I said, if a damn airplane gets in my way or I get in the airplane, well, he's in worse trouble than my little drone. <laughs> yeah. I don't ever fly high enough for them to ever be in my, you know, still in anyway. I don't, I don't fly out there at Shiloh, but... I'm close enough to it that, yeah, it throws all sorts of well, things. Well, I'm going to ask a question. ain't none of my business, though. Have you registered your drone? Not yet. Okay. No. It, ain't that, it ain't that hard. It's, uh, so I got started to register hers last night. It cost five bucks. I give you a little sticker you're supposed to have on your drone. I mean, give you a little number and you print it on a sticker. Uh-huh. It ain't nothing to it. Well, I screwed up. I thought I had to have a 107 waiver because it's close to the airport. And that's when he got, the guy got a hold of me and he said, no, 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 you don't have to do that. 107 is for commercial. And I, I'm going to cancel that one and, and give you five bucks back. And then he told me what to do. So, and and I, I don't care what you do. This this rule is just crazy. If, if you're having a party and you don't have time to do anything, uh-huh. but I take your drone even, uh, or one of mine, and I'm, I'm flying around filming your party, uh-huh. and if you pay for my gas, then I, I broke the law unless yeah. I got a commercial license. Right, yeah, exactly. Which is really kind of strange. But, uh... Yeah, I think they're too tight with the instructions on it. I mean, you know, I don't, if I do it and you pay me a couple hundred dollars, yeah, I can say that, but and even if you put a YouTube video up and you start taking advertisers, you got to have a damn... Yeah. Uh, commercial license. Well, I saw that they've, uh, maybe, I don't know if you, I, I can't tell, I don't know your drill, I can't tell which way it's front and back on it. Um, I got it in head with it. Oh. Um, but in July they came out with a new rule that you no longer have to be, the pilot has to be the only person in line of sight. If you're somewhere and. Oh yeah, you have a spotter. You, you have a spotter. Yeah, yeah. And, 
they can take over. Yeah. Well, they can't really take over. They have to be able to call you on the phone yeah. and tell you you're fucking up. Yeah. In our case, we use a little H-T's or something. Yeah. The only reason I don't want to put it in head as much is because it really takes the responses. Yeah, yeah. That's a, I mean, that's a nice little flame drone. Quiet. Real quiet. Yeah. It sits there pretty good. Sneak up with some college girls out there someday. <laughs> He's been real lucky because it's got a calibration for the accelerometer, they call them. I yeah, think yeah. it's just, I think it gyros. Yeah. And and once in a while they get wonky. Yeah, yeah. And he said, All right, something wrong with it. And I said, You need to calibrate the, the gyros in it, and he won't do it. Yeah. Yeah, I've, uh, well, mine, there's two different things there's the IMU and the compass. I got I got the compass and uh, then I've got the then I've got the uh, gyros on my little one. Yeah, which I think is the same thing as the IMU and mine. And so I, you know, if, if I go usually if I go to another location, that you know I'll sit there and I'll I'll recalibrate it and I'll. So I I didn't do it here because I figured I'm not going to be. Well, mine mine says I don't have to calibrate that shit if I'm flying in the same spot, but I do it every time I come down here because it's so easy to do the compass. I just do it. And you can, with mine, I don't know how it is on your, but on mine you just go one to, no, just oh. go one direction, I don't remember which one, and that calibrates the gyros, and you don't have to do nothing, you watch the lights, the lights flash like crazy, and then it oh. stops your gyros is, is calibrated, so it, it's it's less than a three, four, five minute job, depending on how I feel, so it's worth it to me every time to do the gyros and the uh, compass right here, right. Right, anywhere I go really. This this other thing that I have, it's a it's a major pain in the ass. I think it's going to be to calibrate the compass uh, and stuff. But once you do that, I'll be good for anywhere in the, around 50, maybe even 100 miles as yeah. far as the compass goes. I, I think that's fairly similar to this one because you know if I go to Ferris Park and stuff, I'm probably about. 10, 12 miles away, and I look at the compass, it has like a little uh, indicator saying it's good or bad. Yeah. Or it's always showing good. Yeah, my, mine's got all that crap on it too, and I can't I can't see it real good. I have to have my reading glasses, and I take my reading glasses, and then I can't find a drone. Yeah. I'm going to try, I have for my uh, for my astronomy stuff, I have what they call it, it's a photographer's uh, tent. I mean, it, just, it sits up about this high. It looks like a little tent, you know. But the opening, you oh, yeah, you show that thing in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, you see, My Archon is a, you have to have a ham license because it works on six meters. Oh, okay, yeah. And uh, it's got a lot of range on it because six meters does a pretty good job. Yeah, yeah. And you have to have a ham license and it had to be registered and all that stuff. But uh, it's come with a, a fold-out view screen. It come with its own viewer. You don't have to use an iPhone or anything like that. Right. It's got its own uh, view screen. And somebody, somehow or another, the damn when I went to slide the SD card in there, it went in the wrong way and just fell on in the damn, and you're still inside the damn thing, Jamie. Uh, you're still inside of it. Sure. Yeah, just a little bit. Now you over it. Well, you wobbled back this way when I said that. Because <laughs> you didn't believe me. That's where I landed Paul. But, job, uh, Jimmy. It's, it's, it's a good, it's a good stable yeah. craft, too. It's just... This other one's got the better camera on it, and... Well, I, I finally figured out, you know, kind of my first several videos I did, the videos, you know, for the 1080p didn't look that good, you know, and uh, I started with, it might have been... Uh, Thank you for watching the video, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It's just three old farts sitting around, shooting the breeze, flying a drone, and reminiscing about some old times, and hopefully some new to come. Take care, play pretty, play safe, have fun, and always remember to endeavor to persevere.